Welcome back everybody, Skillionaire here, showcasing you a 1v1 in the red corner. We have Shifty Ape. He's been, uh, I don't really know much about him to be honest, but I've seen him talking in the Discord now and again. He seems like a good guy. In the yellow corner, we've got Addy, a guy who's been featured on my channel a fair few times in the early days when my videos were even crapper. <laughs> and in this game, it looks like they're going to be contending with a lot of water, especially in the middle here. Which I uh, personally always think is quite exciting. Hopefully they utilize some naval combat. This game is ripe for some cheeky drop-offs. But we'll see how it goes. Addy has not gone for the first shoes upgrade. Something I've been thinking about uh, a lot lately. Like whether you should, whether you shouldn't. I'm starting to lean on the side that you shouldn't. And I'll explain why in a sec. It looks like Red has gone for it though. And I think that sometimes the default for first shoes should be that you shouldn't get it unless maybe you're migrating workers or something like that like there should be a reason that makes you go for it because even though oh look at it looks like he is going for it all right well maybe one of the maybe one of these boys watching they can tell me but i kind of feel like it's 20 seconds that you could be making workers with you know what i mean that's two workers that you'll be behind if you go first shoes also of course the resource investment which is you know only a little bit but it's the stone age so every little uh, really counts at this level so I don't know, I've been thinking of skipping it lately unless like there's a reason, like maybe I'm, if I'm going for a proxy base and I want to walk across the map quicker or, you know, maybe, maybe if you go in Europe you intend to keep the Stone Age workers for a little bit longer, you know, something like that because generally move speed can be made up for by warehouse placements. Like if your warehouse placements are really efficient, like look at these two for example, you don't have to walk, you know, because you're already right next to it. So instead of your workers traveling, they should be just standing closer to warehouses that's that's my my uh, opinion at the moment but i haven't decided on that yet so if you guys have a feeling towards that you want to disagree with me please tell me so it does look like um, addy is moving his workers here in the yellow and it looks like red has moved a little bit too because he's found some fish quite far away as well so good spot there nice one to make the effort to move down looks like yellow's also making the effort to move down all right well maybe he's getting the the dividends out of his uh first shoes his fresh adidas trainers um, if he's migrating two sets of workers. It looks like he's actually planning to build a proxy. Meanwhile, Red is, I don't know if he's seen it coming or what, but he's building Bulwarks, which is, this is, uh, I don't know if it's like a counterplay or if he was already seeing it. I reckon he probably saw it though because his scout did go that way. So this is actually good reactionary play. Yeah, come on, who builds two Bulwarks like that? You know that there's a, you know that he's coming in for something here. That's a really good job at sort of scaring him away. Addy's had to go and build somewhere else, but he's getting attacked by so many workers. Man, that's... <laughs> Uh, he's uh, he's having a rough. This is a rough proxy, but it's okay because he's managed to. He's finally started to manage to get it down. The question is, can Red see it? it? Looks like Red's moving forward, but can Red see it? He cannot. He did not see where he went. But look what Red's got planned. Red's got <laughs> Red's got plans so though. This this boy's boar is gonna stop him. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. This is interesting. They're both uh, proxying each other in the middle here. If you saw my recent video, uh, you know it was it was it raised the interesting question. You know, does the proxy always win? You know, is the answer to building a proxy just making your own proxy? Maybe I don't know. I still haven't decided that. Uh, and and to be honest, that video hasn't gone out yet, so I haven't read your comments about it yet. So um, you know, maybe uh, maybe you have better ideas that I haven't seen yet. Man, this this ball feasting, feasting. Some fish here that Addy's gone for. Uh, it looks like Red's actually missed this fish or he skipped this fish, but there's actually a lot of deposits here, so that is kind of going to waste in my opinion. I thought I'd move these workers back or send some new workers over because <laughs> he's trying to clear this damn ball. Yeah, I'd send some new workers because this is a lot of fish, especially if you're making Stone Age. Uh... I'm sorry, so that's Addy. <laughs> okay, confused because he's so close to his base. But still, Red should still go and get this fish because uh, he's going to need to sustain this space, uh, not this one. <laughs> Right, so it looks like Addy's seen it, and he's like, I have to go for this. This is on this. I'm not letting this hang around near my base. I have to clear this. Uh, let's just quickly have a look around the map elsewhere. So the fish here is almost gone. Uh, he's moved to wood here. Truly, I do think Red's. Um, so he's managed to reach Asia. I do think he's missing out by not going for that fish. Um, but it's okay. I guess he can maybe go for fishing ships soon. His proxy is kind of being wrecked here before he can get any slingers out. It does take time before you can get the slingers. You need to make sure you have the stone cutter out and things like that, but you know, he's gone for the upgrade first, which is fair enough because it's kind of crap without the upgrade. It's just that uh, Addy was faster, basically. He had his proxy base down quicker, therefore, uh, he's got his troops out faster. He's had more food income, so you can sustain those troops. 
And that's it, that's the end of Red's proxy. So let's see how badly this is about to hit Red in the face. Addy's starting to build bulwarks here now as well. <laughs> right next to this boar meat. You know he's desperate when he's playing a warehouse next to a boar, right? Or am I mistaken? Is, is that is that worth it, guys? Do you think that's worth it? How much is one small fish deposit? 500. Yeah, I was going to say, because it's worth it for one small fish, so I wonder if it's worth it for, uh, for a boar. Well, if the deposit's close to your base, obviously. Don't walk to the other side of the map just for one small fish. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, he's got the bulwarks here to help his uh, defend against his, uh, his his hold his hold his position on this middle island here. Oh, but wait, when did he get there? Oh, it must have been those th uh, they abandoned here and they ran up here. And I don't know if Addy missed it. Can he see? Let's check. He can't see it. Oh, <laughs> it's just out of his range. It's just out of his sight. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> oh no, he's in for a shock. He never gives up. This red guy is like shifty. He's a shifty ape. That's a good name. He's like, you know what, mate? If you build, destroy one proxy, no one ever expects the second proxy. <laughs> You've had one proxy, yes. But what about second proxy? All right, here we go. They're coming in. The warrior is going to do some damage here. Is he going to have the resources to even sustain this attack here? Oh, that's that's. Is there, why is there a slinger running around there? So he's got he's got quite a lot of archers actually to help him out here. He's got so he's got a ton of dudes on foods on his poultry yard. Let me quickly check if he's got anything. Nice. No, so he's still on wood down there. I'd like to see his resources actually. I wouldn't be surprised if he's oh, he's actually got quite a lot. All right, so he really did um he really did go for a ton of these a ton of these workers on on birds. Not bad, you know, not bad. Okay, yeah, he's, he is killing a lot of archers, but he hasn't actually done that much damage. You see this upgrade? This upgrade uh, improves the towers too. I think this one does as well. They both do. One of either one of them or both of them does. So it is worth going for them, especially if you're actually making archers. In my opinion, maybe he wants to hit his pop cap first, but he's he's already hit it 77. So he might as well do that upgrade. Right to the Iron Age he's going for now. And he's making sure he doesn't lose this little front bit here. He wants to keep these. They're still making warriors a fresh round of warriors. I'm not sure that I'm not sure that really works, but of course, I think I think he shouldn't. Um, obviously, you know, if I remember correctly, Addy knocked me out of the tournament, so like he's probably a, he's a better player than me. But I think maybe you see what he thinks when uh, if he if he sees this vid. I think that um, maybe if he if he can come forward and, and 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 support it with a shooting range of his own something like that so that he can have some archers shooting back while his warriors are doing all the running around it'll put some pressure on things like workers and and the opponent's archers because right now it's like he's he's not being kited because warriors have the speed burst oh <laughs> he's, he's found him but uh i guess it kind of looked like he was fumbling around over here you know because he's, he's like chasing the archers the archers run back the warriors chase like a lot of time is spent sort of moving and before you can attack and I don't know late, lately in my, in my 1v1s I've been sort of making like a few melee troops and a, and a lot of raid troops to back them up the melee is to kind of keep the opponent still while they're fighting uh, that's because they're trying to hit them and then yeah I don't know whatever and uh, Addy's clearly doing well here so don't worry about it he's repairing this warehouse but he should have started repairing it sooner oh is he nice with the archers there yeah see, see what I mean if he had a few archers of his own he could like shoot back and kill these workers that are repairing them Anyway, whatever, I'll stop there. <laughs> no more, no more advice from, from me. So the warriors are taking these archers. What's the cost comparison here? Oh, I can't check anymore. He's upgraded them. But I, I think they are roughly equal cost to these archers. I think warriors might actually be 45 food. So obviously they got a lot of investments with the tech, but it's nice that Addy's getting good use out of them. And with these houses destroyed, actually, this is probably going to hurt the sneaky... Um... Oh, the hand runs! Yes, but they're stuck! I was going to say, what's taking this guy so long? Alright, we have to keep an eye on both fights. I'd rather not slow it down, just because the length of the video will be too long. But it's, it's, it's on 1.5 speed all game, so hopefully I can keep it that way and, and manage to catch everything. I'm going to keep an eye on the mini-map as well, yeah? He's making, he's, he's fishing as well. He's not building a tower, because if he does, it will reveal his location, right, on the mini-map. But look, it looks like Addy has, has seen him. Yes, Addy's seen him now. Dude, do something! I guess he's got no resources. Let me check him again. Oh, he's got no pop cap. 
because he's spending every single archer in defending here and he's just and Addy's destroyed his houses so he can't do it I don't know if Addy you know obviously he was doing that on purpose or what but he accidentally saved himself by destroying all those houses and now he definitely sees him Let, let's let's have a look here yeah, yeah he definitely sees him he's expanded by coming out here and it's like wait a minute holy crap <laughs> and uh, yeah, his spearmen are going backwards not forwards I need to clear this there the tables turned this is making me cry, Shifty Ape. You know I love a hand ram snipe, and you've just wasted them. Okay. I think I have a yeah, heavy spearman. I mean, it's going to take a little while, but you can probably take that out. I'm not sure if I would have. I might have just run straight past it. It's probably more... Oh, wow. Actually, Addy's got a lot of towers. Maybe maybe there's nothing to run past, too. The pier is an easy shot, though. Uh... <laughs> well... I guess uh, Red was so busy watching his own base, he couldn't really micro both, and also he didn't have the pop cap slash resources for both. But yeah, it's all right. These towers, in my opinion, could have come up a lot sooner. So if you got, a, if you're holding something like this with Asia, you build a ton of these, but you don't upgrade them because it's only once you upgrade them that they get revealed on the map, and it takes it to count as your territory. So then your opponent sees that you're there. So you can, you can see on the minimap, it only just flicked to red. So if you had them all ready, and then the moment you get noticed, you then quickly upgrade them all at the same time, then you've got like 10 towers there, and your mate's like, what? Or your opponent, sorry. is like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? So that, that's what I personally would have done. I know he didn't have a lot of land to work here, but I don't think he needed this many barracks. He's building houses over here as well. <laughs> you know he was desperate when he was building houses over here. Jesus. Right, let's have a look at it. So, so he's, uh, he's managed to kill a bunch of workers, destroyed the warehouse, obviously, which is going to be a bit annoying for Addy. Oh, more hand ramps coming out. Yes! Yes! Go on, one more! I love these things. I think he could do with more towers. Wait, wait. Oh, see, his, his dudes are all getting stuck. Maybe destroy that barracks, let them out. You know, open, open a pathway and destroy that one. Maybe, uh, I don't know. He's doing okay, to be fair. He's, he's actually managed to hold. I don't really know. Oh, shit, I missed this bit. So it looks like uh, while Addy's been busy protecting his own base, he's got a lot of migration down here, protecting his own base, uh, Red's pushed out and taken Addy's um, proxy. Damn, this, this game's got some swings, hasn't it? A lot of back and forths. A lot of back and forths. So it does look like he's taken these buildings out purely with archers. That's why it's taken so long to destroy these two and now the third one. Obviously, archers don't do much building damage. But uh, if nothing's stopping him, why not? I like that Red's taking this fish as well. That, that's a good play. I mean, it, it only, it's only a great play if, if you can keep them for long enough. But <laughs> it looks like he's, 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 he's paying off this investment. So now Addy's uh, got his shooting range defense up. And the tables have kind of turned a bit. He's the one defending with the archers. Obviously, range, tr range troops are a lot easier to defend with. You don't have to run around chasing your opponent. This is a lot of investment in these hand rams, to be honest. As much as I love them, they are actually really expensive. So you don't want to be throwing them away like this. Because look, each one is costing you 60 food and 100 wood. That could be going towards spearmen, especially when you've got this many barracks. And of course, pop cap. So I'm not sure you should keep making these hand rams. Um, what you want to do is, once you once you look like you're winning, like with, with enough spearmen or whatever, then you start making the hand rams to like, as the second the second wave, you know, uh, to make sure the, the road is clear for them. But uh, yeah, so now that Addy's hit Middle Ages and uh, his tower's up, it's going to be a lot harder for um, Red to achieve anything here. However, you know what? Credit to Shifty Ape. Oh, he's coming down for more damage. But big credit to Shifty Ape because he has actually um, completely cleared this. Uh, obviously, there's three towers here, but he's, he's cleared the proxy, and that's actually a really big and like, good thing for him. This is a nice sneak attack. Addy's busy up here, and now he's seen it. Sneak attack against the food. Obviously, food eco damage is so devastating because you know you can't make troops, right? And then you end up winning the fight because your opponent can't keep up with you. Good stuff. You know what I would say? So Red knows. Oh, the boar killed all his workers! Look at this guy! <laughs> oh no! I was gonna say, Shifty Ape knows that there's some way to expand expand down here, and so does. Uh, Addy. So I wonder why neither of them goes, well, maybe my opponent expanded and they go down here and do something, you know, with a tower, so put a tower there, something like that. I don't know. Just something. Maybe there's so much to think about already. Here we go then. 
Archers go forward. Maybe he shouldn't be hitting this house, but there's a lot to think about. He's probably in his own base, attack moving them forwards. Yeah, there we go. So the heavy archers are going to be able to defend this, I think. Um, he's going to find this difficult. How's he doing here? So he does have a lot of fishing locations. He's halfway through his pop upgrade of Middle Ages. Addy's already there. So the pop upgrade is pretty important, of course, because whoever has that can get, make more troops, assuming all of the other resources are available. Dude, keep going down! Keep going down! Look, if he's warded you here, go down, look to see if there's anything here, and then you can come back up if there's nothing. Oh, and, he, and he's chasing him, but he doesn't know he's... He's run faster. <laughs> okay, go back up now! Go now! Yeah! <laughs> that is funny. I wonder if Addy's going to see that. It does look like he's lost his pier up here on the mini-map, so he's got three rogue fishing ships. But he can build a new pier up top here and keep fishing and save those fishing ships. Up to here, where the metal is, so you can see my mouse. Around there, that's what I would do, because there's no uh, country there, so you can't see. So he's gone back in for the food again. I don't think it's been as successful this time, to be honest. It's hard to really see what's going on here. Also, I might be wrong, maybe they changed it, but when you attack move, sometimes they attack the, the birds on, like instead of the... Um, Instead of the actual workers, which is really annoying, because <laughs> uh, yeah, come and see. So domestic, the animals trigger the aggro, basically, uh, which is obviously not what you want. Just doing your guy a favor at that point. Yeah, so he's moving his I see, He's moving his fishing ships back to here. Okay, I mean that's that's okay. He's, he's lost. Man, that's such low health. That's all right too. You can do that if you're not feeling ballsy. He's already got so much to uh, do and think about. He's got his new army ready ton of archers here. Why can't I click these? Oh right, it's because I'm clicked. You know they need to improve this replay feature man. So because I'm click because I'm look at viewing Addy, I can't actually click these troops. But if I go to shift the A, I can then do that. And I can see how the numbers. I mean that's pretty like come on as as the observer you should be able to do that for both both now I can't do it for Addy anymore. Whatever. They're both playing uh East Asia, which is a quite a common theme in the uh, the higher 1v1 ranks. It's just the way it is, unfortunately. They, they just um, seem to be the... I think it's because you can get them up really fast. Maybe in your team games, you're used to seeing Europe. You think maybe Europe's really strong. And they are if they have the time to become that strong. In a 1v1, you often don't have the time. So Asia's speed can... Um, really hurt you if you go Europe because they'll hit you before you're ready and then of course then you're on, you're playing on the back foot and you know, how you can come back from that you know it's, it's always harder to make a comeback right so yeah and then out of the two Asias uh, it does seem like East Asia is can just do what West Asia can do but like a little bit more you know like they have more options they got more troop choices you know like if this was West Asia he'd only have a zap so he'd only have one Q uh, and then, yeah, I, th I just, I think generally East Asia is just, it's one of those things, like, you, every time you play West Asia, you think, okay, this is cool, but if I was playing East Asia, I'd be doing even better. You know, uh, it's, it's a rough line of logic. Having said that, I've been playing some West Asia again in my 1v1s, because I've been trying to get the most out of the Ballista, which is a much better building destroyer than Rocket Cannons. But then Rocket Cannons are so good against the troops, you see that? You saw one of my recent videos as well. That you, sh you can never have too many rocket cannons. It's utterly devastating if you spam them. And the thing is with rocket cannons, and this is this is the real um, edge over ballista, really, is that they only cost wood. They're quite cheap, whereas ballista costs metal and wood. So it's like, I don't know. I'm experimenting because I do enjoy playing West Asia, but I, I I do concede that East Asia is probably better right now. Definitely better right now. So. And he's completely outnumbered here. He should have retreated there sooner, especially when he saw the rocket cannons, in my opinion. Or maybe he was waiting for these to upgrade. I'm not really sure. Or maybe he was busy in his own base doing stuff. Let's flick back to him. How many of these dudes does he seem to have coming in? He's got... Okay, so there's a bunch of... There's quite, quite a lot of troops coming in. <laughs> like about 50 or so troops. Uh, maybe more. And now he's building... Oh, this is smart. So he's building the stables down here to harass Eco. But unfortunately for him... Shifty Ape has already seen some kind of play. He's realized he's vulnerable in the south and he's built a wall because it's so easy to wall down here because there's such a thin patch of land. So this actually isn't going to work for Addy. Um, it's a shame he didn't scout it first. Uh, but it was a good try and plus, you know, they're not wasted. They can always run up to the top. It's just it's a long way to go. You know what, yeah? So this me replay, um, I was tagged to have a look at by both players. 
usually when someone sends me a replay, I feel like it's usually them who's won. That's why they're sending it to me because they're quite excited about it. Not always. Some players are like, yo, check out this game even when they lost. I respect those ones, but... Oh, I expect all of you, but as in those ones, you know, even more, uh, because, you know, yeah, but um, with these lot, they both tagged me, so I'm like, I don't actually know who won this game. I'm watching it for the first time with you lot. It's quite interesting. It's going back and forth so much. It's difficult to know. I'm curious. Addy got the, uh, the intelligence agency upgrade. That's why it shows on the minimap, like a little crown here, I think. Is that why? If I swap to Shifty Ape, it'll disappear. No, maybe that's, sorry. I mean, you know what? My mind is blipping. I'm recording this very early in the morning. <laughs> so, uh, oh no, no, yeah, there we go. So it took a while to update. So I'm on shift D8 and uh, the town hall doesn't have that little symbol in the in the minimap. But if I shift back, you can see it appears. So Addy went for the for the upgrade there. I don't know why. I think that's a, I think that's only useful in team matches. And that's a waste in 1v1 and even 2v2. Unless you're really struggling to know if it's an island map, maybe it's useful. You can make a tactical decision. Whether you think you can snipe their town center, etc. So it does look like he's been repulsed, of course. Uh, I think it's because Red had artillery to support his attacks. Whoever has artillery, actually, in, from what I can see, like does a lot better. And of course, Yellow is invested down here, and he's he's in for a shock. Let's 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 watch the moment where he's like, oh no, this <laughs> fucking poor. He's Ronin. I can't tell with the new. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, he'll destroy that, but he doesn't have any workers on that anyway. I wonder if his attack moved them forwards. So Red's made a bunch of junks, which I love to see. It's a really smart move because he's going to be able to close up on Addy's fishing ship. This is actually really dangerous for Addy. I am feeling. I'm feeling nervous for him. This attack has completely failed on the south. The attack on the north has completely failed and now in the navy in the center is also going to fail because there's nothing to attack. He's going to lose all his fishing ships. I am wondering if he's going to be in a disaster situation, especially because he's teching up right now. He has a lot of resources though, so he can't afford it. Let's find out. Could this be uh, the end of my Hungarian friend? I think it was Hungarian, if I remember correctly. I have no idea about Shift the Ape. Feel free to let us know. Oh, there we go. Spring all attack. It's going to be devastating. Hey, it always looks so like terrifying as well. Gigantic spears. Yeah, I mean he can't he can't keep up with this. He, he's only sending troops to delay him at this point. I wonder if he's yeah. There we go. In my opinion, um, he should have had his rocket cannon sooner. Like a, like a lot sooner. Soon you, you need to fight artillery with artillery. Not every time, but like clearly this is not working for you, and, and you need you need artillery to shoot back. And with East Asia, rocket cannons are cheap, right? So as we were saying, so you want to be spamming it. Clearly, Addy did not watch my last video. <laughs> so, uh, or was it last or the, the last before the last? Whatever, you know what I mean. The junks have come forward. They're shredding everything, absolutely everything. There's no, he's got no other ports really. The only thing Addy's got is safe is down here, but um, this is running out, and he could build fishing ships here. I, I think that's what I would do, but and he needs to get some junks out to fight this off. But he, ah, maybe he should invest everything in the land. He's got his rocket cannons, which should help, and now he's got harquebusiers. It might make a difference. Is he, he's gonna have to get that tech? Yeah, the tech is capping him by two minutes. He can't make troops, but it's gonna make a big difference. I don't know if he can get it in time and pump out these troops. Workers here are being slaughtered. Man, those samurai cut them up real quick. What's down here? Oh, those are the junks. Killing workers over here. Yeah, I, th I think uh, Yellow is in is huge trouble here. How is he going to come back from this? Oh, now Red is... Yeah, nice one. So once you start pushing back, you do want to cement your hold with towers if you can, if you can afford it. Because, um... It just helps you hold the map, makes it harder for your opponent. Looks like he's given up, and I don't understand why he hasn't had constant troops backing him up. Let's check Shift the Ape. Is it because he's got no metal? I mean, archers don't cost metal, so what? Why? Why? And he's trying to tech up to catch up. He just stopped reinforcing the siege, and now of course the siege is going to get annihilated. You can't have siege by themselves. You can never have siege by themselves. Okay, interesting. Wow, he held. 
But I guess maybe Shifty Ape like hit a cap or something or I don't know. He must have um I don't know, it's for some reason he stopped reinforcing. They're here now, but it's a bit late and they're about to get Come on, this is painful to watch. Is he gonna AFK? What are you doing man? What are you doing? They're right here, go and kill them! Oh my god, both players asleep as well. <laughs> All right, what are they actually doing there? What, what is so important? Is it because he's looking in his base, managing his workers? This is a bit inefficient here. Maybe he can move somewhere else. Bear in mind, guys, both these players are really good. It's just that uh, when you're doing so many things at the same time, it can be difficult to, uh, you know, see all these things at once. We all know this. If this was my game, I'd be making mistakes like 100 more times than these lot. It's just uh, as an observer, we can see everything, right? So it's it's uh, hindsight. It's, it's 2020. So. This again, speaking of inefficiency, this this could be closed up. If Addy knows that he's taken this, oh, he's got a rocket cannon here. He's taken this from Red, then he can come and take his wood as well. Oh, what's this? Oh, he's put them on the. Oh yes. Wait, where did he make that from? Oh, nice one. That's why Addy wasn't watching. And that and he's it looks like the fighter just moved down here. Oh, it's payback time. But where are his junks to defend? But there's action here as well. He's charged in. I don't think they're going to achieve much here. They might kill some stuff, kill some rocket cannons. This is way more exciting. The fishing ships start to go down. But they're all... Oh, no. Red's going to be in big trouble. <laughs> Red is going to be in big, big trouble. Although they're awesome. They actually, actually, to be fair, Red has actually a lot of towers. Move the chunks! Move the chunks! Why isn't this guy doing anything? Shift the ape. Come on. Your name is too cool to be making mistakes like that. The Ronin coming now. They slaughter the workers. He can't afford to build his own stables down here, which is probably his plan. He's going to open this gate and then run in and harass. That's actually quite smart too. Uh, eventually, it's going to go down. Oh, man. That is so painful. All his fishing ships. And, okay, once you get into the base, actually, because of all the uh, because of the, all the arrows, he didn't do too much. But, you know, he hit some food eco here. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back here. So, and he's now the one pushing forwards with the rocket cannons. And Red is the one pushing without the rocket cannons. <laughs> so Red is now feeling uh, some pain here. But also, this yellow has Harkabus here. It's upgraded now because that wheel lock upgrade is finished. And uh, if I was Adi, I'd maybe consider making some hand cannons to support. But um, I suppose rocket cannons are cheaper. So maybe there's something to be said. What's he? Is he taking up? He has. He's going abstract. You know, it's funny. After a whole patch nerfing this stuff after last tournament it feels like the meta up here or maybe the players just don't want to adjust I don't know but it's just still East Asia into abstract like I'm seeing a lot of these games and uh, yeah it's 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 a shame I, I would it's not not that I dislike East Asia East Asia is really cool and abstract is also really cool to be honest I think it's one of my favorite countries to play it's just that uh, you know when you're casting it and you see people going the same things all the time it's a bit like come on Something needs to be done now. Please sh shake it up. Summon the patch nodes. He's been shredded by these rocket cannons, man. He needs his own rocket cannons. Why didn't he learn from Addy's mistake earlier? Like, you need the rocket cannons. Alright, I mean, he's managed to hold him off with enough towers. I'm not sure why Addy's retreated. He didn't need to. Wow, that's a lot of junks. I don't... Oh, shit. Yeah, you can destroy the houses with these junks. But there is a, I think he should shift the turtle ships or something. Oh, he's looking for his peers. His peers are down here, man. Oh no, he thinks he's got. He, I think he's trying to stop this. He's coming in with more. <laughs> that is funny. It's all right. Yeah, this is gonna go disastrously for Red. You all clustered like that as well. It's just not working out, man. It's not gonna work. Right, let's see what's going on here. So he can destroy these houses, but with the towers, the boats go down so easily. Oh, uh, that was a waste of junks. He needed to go south. Look, it's completely undefended. All these workers will be taken away from the tree line and the metal. All these fishing ships. He, I mean, he probably doesn't know, but let's have a look. Oh my god, it's the one place he can't see. Oh, but kind of guess though. Guess that if they're not here, because you should know that... By looking at his pier, like his shoreline, there's no piers. So where are the where are his boats coming from? It must be here. He's charging in with with his own Ronin or amounted samurai. 
so maybe he'll reveal it for himself. Man, that was disastrous. That was disastrous. Sorry, Shifty Ape, you were playing so well, but now you're kind of starting to throw the game. This is, this is, uh, this is, this is difficult. Addy is, is um, having a tough time, obviously. I say throw the game, obviously. He's still giving Addy a lot of trouble, but uh, there's, whew, there's a lot of times you could have delivered the killing blow. Let's see what happens now. The hand cannon should help. They should help. Yeah, the Hakabusi is going to take this stuff down, man. Well, if you just move the workers as well, like you not, you just that was that was that was a lot of investment to achieve very little. So, oh, this time he knows. Oh no, sorry, no, 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 that's Addy's ships. That's Addy's own ships coming back after dropping off more Ronin. Let's see how much damage they did. I mean, they're dead on the floor as well. There's just too many towers. This, this, this draft, this. Worker harassment strategy is not working, guys. But the fishing ship's harassment, that's going to be very easy. Nobody has the territory up here. Could build a cheeky, cheeky, uh, cheeky pier and a turtle ship. Turtle ships being the artillery ones, guys. Yeah, look. And uh, I think it would really help. You can build, if you, if you park the turtle ships here, you can just destroy, you can destroy his main base. Like, obviously, you need to have enough to defend it with, like, junks and stuff. But if you took these piers out, he'd have nothing. Obviously, it's a bit too late now because he threw all those junks. So, let's see. Now, hand cannons are pretty devastating, but they are much more expensive than the rocket cannons, right? So, when the rocket cannons are getting kills, it's more painful for red. Whereas, if the yellow is getting kills, you know, these are much cheaper, so... Oh man, he's lost the whole front line. All oh, these are in trouble now. Yeah, it does look like um, it just it does seem like overall Addy is uh, in the yellow here. He's he's winning like fights. Like it doesn't look like it because they're both backing away. But economically speaking, it looks like yellow is sort of winning because he he's investing less resources in the same fights that end in a draw whereas red is losing more so there we go he's made it to his abstract and he's uh he's halfway up to his pop caps he's made it to his abstract for a little while now let's have a look uh what red situation is red's going india again another blast from the past uh, i do think india is a, a great one to go into um as well but it, it kind of depends I, i'm assuming these guys have not changed the strategy at all so i'm just going to go ahead and predict what they're going to do uh, Addy is going to go for uh, Mounted Cavalry, the uh, Abstract Cavalry are pretty awesome, uh, whereas Red wants to go for Machine Gun Elephants, which are also great. Not saying those things should be nerfed by the way, like that's, that's may maybe the Cavalry Moon. Um, I, think, I think that the Elephants were already a bit nerfed and I think that's, that wasn't really the problem. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if you should be able to go India from East Asia, in my opinion. I don't, I don't actually think, I don't actually think you should be able to, but whatever. That's a whole other thing. Okay. Man, shredded, absolutely shredded. Yellow's in trouble now. Uh, maybe he heard me and he uh, changed his strategy. I don't know, but uh, now he's the one trading up. He's the one doing a lot more um, efficient. Efficient plays. I uh, he's gonna need to do something now. I'm actually not sure how this is gonna go because of course Addy's right next to his production buildings. Oh machine guns are coming out. One, two, three. No, that's gonna turn it. That's gotta turn it. Unless he somehow manages to like snipe them, but they're gone. And these lot are gonna be gone as well. They're too slow to move back. Maybe try to achieve something by destroying the uh, shooting ranges that he can't remake now that he's abstract. He's got a lot of Hakabusi is coming in, but uh, he needs to hit the machine gunners. Now that they've come forward, they'll be easier to hit than they were before. What are you doing, bro? I mean, I guess also the hand cannons are also deadly, but I, I think priority one, machine gunner. Priority one, machine gunner. Come on. Not the house. <laughs> there we go. That's better. No, don't change. He's halfway dead. Okay, let's see what's going on down here. So, this time, Red has been successful. 
all the time. And but to be honest, at this point, there's no resources left here. <laughs> so, but okay, cool. He's managed to uh, be successful here. Wow, that's a lot of kills on these warships. So ones that he keeps he's sending forward, destroying his fishing ships, and then coming home. Uh, like he, it's honestly the same ones. He sends them forward, destroys the piers and the fishing ships, and comes back. Like that is efficient. Hand cannon's probably gonna die here. <laughs> At least try and get man. These machine guns are really gonna tear into him. Stop moving them forward. Stop moving them forward. Stay back behind your tower range, bro. You need something to back the hand cannons. They're too expensive to throw and waste. The archers, that's better. That's better. Come on. Do something with these. He's struggling to micro in it. You can tell he's struggling to micro. It's okay though. It's it's, it's really it is really tough to do this stuff. And he's playing it so well. Honestly, you can learn so much from Shifty Ape. He's doing a great job. He comes in here. Man, he gets mowed down. He got him to turn around though. He got him to turn around. And now Adi's um, hand cannons are completely exposed. Now they're all dead. Now he has to turn back around. So it was a good job getting him to panic there. Because it helped him win the front line. So if um, if Addy can get some of these to machine gun towers, he never needs to worry about that again, pretty much. So he should be building an armory. But, I mean, that's just my opinion, of course. And then he can invest everything pushing for. <laughs> so he tries to rebuild it immediately. These, these these things are a big problem for Red. How is he doing? It's not even it. Oh, he cancelled India. He cancelled India to be able to afford it. And now he's losing this. And if he starts putting up machine gun trawlers, Red's going to be in in a, in, a, in a lot of trouble because machine gun trawlers are going to come up here and be able to shred these buildings. Not like really really fast, but oh, add these fishing ships. But uh, it's going to be a whole range of no go zone. Um, that they're going to create, that you can't get close to the shore without being shot. So it's like a, a warding technique. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure how it's going to go, in it? It's back and forth in for a little while. So this, is, this is quite a long one. I think I might blast forward a little bit, if you guys don't mind, because it's, it's a stalemate. So let's go up to times three for a bit. Ronin come forward, get shot up by the hand cannons, achieve very little. Although, actually, to be fair, no, they, they do. I'll take that back. I apologize. That was actually quite a few industrial workers they did kill before they died. What's going on here? Uh, amassing an absolute buttload of machine gunners supported by cheap archers. The archers are almost like the uh, buff. They're like the meat shield. And the machine guns are doing the damage. Good strategy, to be fair. An interesting strategy. I haven't seen any cavalrymen, which is what I thought I was going to see. But maybe he thinks that um, the machine gunners are hard countering. Uh, the 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 hand cannons and stuff. So fair enough. The red here is pumping out a ton of troops to try and hold this off, but at the same time he's sending cavalry harassment. It's not really going to achieve much. Just the one. Yeah, he's already seen it coming. Hakabusiers are going to make him toast. He is slowly, gradually pushing uh, back into red zone. Red's throwing in the cavalry from the top, which is actually a smarter idea. Now that I think about it, because then you can close the gap between the machine guns. And yes, he's got a lot of machine guns, so you're going to need a lot of cavalry. But eventually, you will close that gap. And if they're shooting the cavalry, they're not shooting your Hakabusiers. And the Hakabusiers are the ones that are actually going to destroy it. He's going forwards again. He needs to send more cavalry up, to up top, in my opinion. Red needs more cavalry up north. What does Yellow need? I think Yellow needs more protection for his uh, machine gunners, actually, is what he needs. I also do think Red should go cavalrymen. I, I genuinely think he could charge them forward and destroy the hand cannons. He's got the stables. But I guess he doesn't have the resources. Oh, machine gun. Yeah, there we go. Machine gun towers we talked about. Oh, he's going for airfields. Oh, balloon. Balloons is the other strategy. Yes, that's pretty decent too. So with the balloons, of course, uh, he has no way of stopping this. He can't shoot up in the air. Well, actually, to be fair, no, sorry. So I take that back. The Hakabusiers can shoot up in the air. Uh, I just don't know if they're, you know, they're going to do enough damage. And I think it's really going to try to start to turn the tide, especially with these machine guns as well. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how Red reacts. Has he started industrial again? He's going there, but I think he's been low tech for too long. No machine gun trawlers from Yellow, like we talked about. It's, um, yeah, it is. It is. 
I guess, I guess there's just so many things you need to spend your resources on, and right now everything's going to these F. No way. Military aerostats. No. <laughs> He's going to use that to clear this foothold, of course, because none of this stuff can... Um, these towers can't shoot in the air, right? So he's going to try to clear the troops with these, with the balloon towers. He's going to destroy the buildings with the military aerostat. I respect that play greatly. That is, that's, that's a great, uh, great strategy. Wow, you see how they just get completely mowed down. I think Red's in trouble here. He can't, these, these hand cannons are just, they're a waste, man. Stop making them. They cost too many resources. You need to, you need to invest in something else now. In fact, I would almost abandon this, start building shooting ranges here in preparation and just start pumping out exclusively like harquebusiers and probably archers to be meat shield until you reach um, until you reach uh, industrial and you can properly shoot up in the air. That's my opinion. I don't know I don't know what you guys think. Of course the archers can't shoot up in the air, but the archers will be meat shield for the for the gunners. You just need so many like things that can shoot up. Look, barely any damage. Hand cannons are just a waste of resources. Archers aren't doing anything yet. You, you need to <laughs> look how he just throws the the bomb. <laughs> Let's have a look. Catch this. <laughs> uh. Alright, so now he's moving back. The thing is, mate, the writing was on the wall. You should have seen this was gonna happen a little while ago. So you know what? Sorry, I don't know why my commentary has been so harsh on Shift the Game. I don't mean to be. I, I you could have seen this coming, is what I should say. You could have seen this coming. And you could be uh, investing in, in your own base right now. Oh, you already got the shooting ranges. You already got shooting ranges. So if I was him, I'd just amass full pop cap army, which he already has actually. Um, oh, this is nice too. This is nice too. Good catch. Although these guns, see, he's already, he's already, he's already prepared. Could have done it. Yeah. If you don't done it early in the game, would have been more devastating. You know what? I don't. I, with this many, I think you can't come back from that. I don't think you can come back from that. He has finally hit India, so he's at his weakest point. Remember, every you're at your weakest point when you first hit industrial. You've invested all these resources, you've produced nothing, and now you also have to upgrade buildings and start. It's, uh, it's, it's his weakest moment, but he had to try, and I think yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be presumptive and call that a CG. I think uh, both players did really well here. Adi actually played that so well, especially because Shifty Ape was giving him so much trouble. Yeah, there we go, GG, bro. Yeah, it was it was a good game. You should both be proud of that. I think that you both did really good. Anyway, I'm gonna call that. I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.